my friends, it's me sitting in front of you barefaced in my villa of Byron Bay on the staircase right in front of the door because that is the best lighting, natural lighting. I wanted to show you guys my summer holiday makeup routine. It is so simple. A lot of you guys ask me about my makeup routine and if I can do a tutorial. I'm not really great at doing makeup tutorials, but because I'm on holidays, I thought, why not? Why not just do a little Byron Bay get ready with me? So I am going to begin with moisturizer. Now this moisturizer contains an SPF 50, I think. It's called Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Face Moisturization. I love this brand, Hawaiian Tropic. I have the sun tanning lotion that contains an SPF as well. The body lotion is also beautiful. I discovered this brand in Hawaii, my spirit home. As the hotel room we were staying at, we're providing Hawaiian Tropic products in the bathroom. The shampoo, the conditioner, the body lotion. I fell in love. Actually, it's just become readily available in Woolworths in the last year or two, but before that, because I travel to Hawaii every year, I would always stock up once a year because I just couldn't find it anywhere here and I could only buy it online and it was really, really expensive online. So, I begin with moisturizer. Always, every day, whether I'm on holiday or not, never ever do I go out without SPF. Never do I ever wear foundation when I'm on holidays. It's just my moisturizer and then a little bit of concealer under my eyes and anywhere else I have redness or darkness and that's usually around my nose and around my mouth. And the one I've been using lately and for a long time is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. My shade is medium. This concealer for a drugstore concealer is absolutely amazing. It's not very dewy, it has more of a matte finish. It has great coverage, I never have to set it. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful skin-like finish. So this concealer comes with a sponge applicator, so I just swipe it on my face, and then I use a sponge, whatever beauty sponge you have around. This is just one by Natio, it's an Australian label. And it's okay, it's not, you know, the greatest, like the beauty blender that costs like 30 bucks. This I think costs about six bucks, but it does the trick, you know? I have better things to spend $30 on. All right, so I just blend it in with the sponge. And then with the remainder of the product on the sponge, I just dab the top of my nose. Sometimes I do like to wear a little bit of foundation when I'm at work, but even that is a rare occurrence. But when I do wear foundation at work or when I'm filming, I dab a little bit on my cheeks and around my mouth, corners of my nose, and that's it. I don't put foundation anywhere else. Next thing I do is warm up my face with a little bit of bronzer. This is a cream bronzer and it is by Wet n Wild. It's actually called a contour stick and I picked this up from a drugstore when I was in New York last year. So I bought two, I went through the first one and this is the second one. I absolutely love this. This is so cheap, it was like five or six dollars, but it's such a beautiful shade and it just warms up the face and you only need very, very little. And I do love cream based products when I'm on holiday in the summertime. They just sink into the skin and look so much more natural. And it's just what I like. I get my stippling brush. This is from e.l.f. It's a small stipple brush and it's great for cream products. I dip into the bronzer like that, maybe three times, not too much because it's really pigmented. And then I go in on the high points of my cheeks up to blend. And I go 
up on my temples as well and bring it down to my cheekbones. I'm just using the viewfinder as my mirror right now, so I hope it looks okay. And then I do the same on the other side. A little more on my forehead. Not too much. You can always build it up. But if you go overboard, then it's harder to correct. And then I use a tiny little bit on the sides of my nose. Just so it looks like I've had some sun, but I don't want to put it right on the bridge of my nose because I don't want to be too red there. I absolutely love blush. I love wearing it. I feel so youthful and fresh when I wear it, and I think it just makes the biggest difference. If I just have bronzer on without blush, I feel a little bit flat, but when I put the blush on top of the bronzer, I just feel, like I said, just so alive, so fresh, and it just pops, and it's just gorgeous. And this blush is a cream blush. It is a drugstore one as well. It's by Rimmel, and I don't even think you can find this anymore. I'm sorry, I'm using products that you probably can't go out and buy, but you can just use any cream blush and any cream bronzer. It doesn't have to be the same products. But this is Royal Blush cream blush by Rimmel. The color is coral. It's just a beautiful, beautiful coral color. And it looks like that. It is just gorgeous. I love it. And I just smile and go in the apples of my cheeks with the stippling brush in a stippling motion, just like that. Just got to make sure that it's blended in really nicely so I don't look like a clown, but I do want the colour to pop. Now I want to have a good amount of blush on there because this is such a natural looking one and because I'm on holiday and it's a coral colour, I think it's just gorgeous. And then I put a little bit on my nose. So cute and so natural. I love it. Okay, that's pretty much all I do for the base. Now, for the eyes, all I do is swipe on a little bit of blush or a little bit of bronzer in the crease. That is all I do. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of blush because I love this coral colour. So cute. So just dab a little bit more into the pan. using the same brush you know I'm never too like perfect with my makeup and you know everything has to be perfect I don't like perfect I like effortless and natural that's what I like I don't want you know to see foundation and perfection and sculptured brows and eyes and just too much I like an undone natural look so I'm never really too you know you know, fussy with my makeup. That's just a nice wash of colour. And then just underneath my eyes, I'll just put whatever's left on the brush, smudged under my eyes with the same brush. Just to give it a real soft, soft look. Try and get it on the edge there. And then just look up. Brush it there. I mean, especially as we get older, less is more. You just don't want to have a face, you know, packed on with makeup. As you get older, you have wrinkles and everything creases, and you have you know, age spots, and you just don't want to try and cover all that up. I find the whole contouring thing very strange. I've never gotten into it. I have no desire to because it just changes your face, and I don't think that makeup 
should be used to change your face because then when you wipe it off at night and you look at your face, you know, you should be okay with how you look. Not only love your face when it's contoured so much that the planes of your face have changed and you just look totally different. The reason I love makeup is because it makes me feel confident, it makes me feel youthful if applied correctly. It just makes me feel more feminine. Mascara makes me feel so feminine. Lip balm on my lips makes me feel like I have more juicy, pouty lips. Blush makes me feel more youthful. Bronzer makes me feel more healthy and alive. Eyeliner makes my eyes pop. That's the kind of attitude I have with makeup. I don't want makeup to change the way I look or to cover up my face. I want my makeup always to look really effortless and natural and I want people to see me, not the makeup. That's kind of how I've always been with makeup. All right, next up, what are we gonna do? The eyes. Okay, I have been loving, absolutely loving this eye pencil by Estee Lauder. The shade is Burgundy Suede and it is the most beautiful shade. It's got hints of red, burgundy, copper. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And what I like to do is apply it on my eyelid near my lash line. I'm not careful with it. I'm not, you know, trying to draw a perfect line. I'm just running the pencil over my lash line, making sure there's some really good pigment there. And then on the corners, I just try and do a little bit of a cat eye. I sort of simulate the cat eye. And then draw in a little bit so it blends in better. And then what I do is get my finger and then I smudge it all out. That's why you don't have to worry about being perfect with the line. So I blend it out. And just on the corners, I use my finger to just sort of create a little bit of a sharper line, but not a real perfect cat eye. You know, just so that it's lifted and you can see that it's given the eye shape and it's a bit smoky, there's something there. It's not perfect, it's a bit smudged. It's just, I don't know, I find it so sexy. So that's all I do. I'll do it on the other eye as well. Sharpen that corner with your finger, a clean finger, right? Now that looks okay. And then I go in the rim of my eyes as well, the upper rim and the lower rim. And then what I'll also do is just go on the outer corner of the eye and just put a little bit of the pencil there and then just smudge it out. So that's the eyes. That's all I do. Just bronzer, blush in the crease and then this eyeliner or a brown or a little glittery black eyeliner that I love. Mascara, what I'm gonna do, I do have my L'Oreal Waterproof um, Paradise Mascara on my lashes, but I'm gonna put some of the Paradise Normal Mascara on top after I curl them. So I never, ever, ever go without curling my lashes. So I think it makes all the difference in the world. It just opens them up and opens your eye up and it just is so effective. I just love it so much. I never apply mascara without my eyelash curl at first. So that's that. Now I'll go in with the mascara. This is a new discovery. I think this is my second tube. I tried it for the first time um, 
couple of months ago and I absolutely loved it. A few months ago, actually I think this is my third tube. Yes, and I love it. It is an amazing drugstore mascara. Amazing. Always make sure you get the outer lashes because it just looks so beautiful. Gives the eye a beautiful arm and shape. I can never put on mascara without getting it on my eye, but that's okay, I'll just let it dry and then I'll flick it off. Okay, I'm drinking a cup of tea not finished with the makeup just yet we still need to do the brows and I am using the elf wow brow in brown this reminds me of the glossier um, what is a boy brow that I got from the States when it comes to brows I don't use pencil I don't draw you know, hairs. I don't want a sculptured, perfect brow and I don't want them to look exactly the same. Brows are not symmetrical. Our face is not symmetrical. So I just want something that I can, you know, give more fibers to my brows to so make them look thicker and something that'll keep them in place. That is all I want from a brow product. And this is perfect. This is a really great dupe for that Glossier Boy Brow. So, oh, I need a mirror for this. Where's my mirror? Okay. So, I just run it through my brows. And it is the simplest thing, just like that. I mean, you guys know how to do your brows. You don't need me to show you. You don't need me to show you anything. But I just wanted to show you guys that makeup doesn't have to be, you know, this practice that takes hours and changes your whole face and it has to be perfect. And like you see on YouTube, it's just crazy. I think it's crazy anyway. Who has the time? I think makeup, like I said, it needs to be effortless and natural. And I always want my skin to show through. I always want my lips to come through. You know, I don't want a lip color that's going to totally cover my lips unless it's red. And same with the skin. I want, you know, something on my skin that evens out my skin tones and a little bit of warmth, a little bit of color. But I still want people to be able to see my skin. To me, that is really true beauty. You know? Anyway. That's why I don't do makeup videos and that's why no one watches my makeup videos because they're so simple and you know the products are so you know what I mean I don't need 300 products for my brows this is a little tip when my mascara is dry or dry but still tacky. What I do is I get my fingers and I press my lashes up like that. I've been doing this ever since I was, oh my god, so young. And it just lifts them even more and keeps them there. And I just press it down like that. And then, voila. Fluttery lashes. Oh, I have to get rid of that mascara was on my eye and I'll just flick that off. It's gone now. All fixed up. And for my lips, you guys, all I do is wear lip balm. I want my lips to be just natural. And I've done my eyes so my lips can be just fair, shiny, healthy, just a little bit of lip balm. This one is the Sun Balm Lip Balm. It's got SPF in it and the wrappers come off but it's beautiful tastes like bananas and that is all I do for my lips I may sometimes put a little bit of lip liner to define my cupid's bow and just underneath and then put lip balm 
when I'm on holidays, I don't care. And I hardly ever, ever, ever wear lipstick. So that is it, you guys. That is my summer holiday makeup routine. Now let me show you my outfit. So this dress, my friends, is one that I thrifted from the entrance market. It was only $10. It's a beautiful Bagheera dress in this leaf print. I absolutely love it. My shoes are my ancient Greek sandals. I love them, they're flat, they're comfortable, and I never, ever wear heels when I travel. So they're tan and they just elongate the leg and they look cute with this dress. And my bag is this beautiful fossil straw bag that my son got me for my birthday. Isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful, I'm in love with it. It's so pretty and I love the tan accents just works with my shoes and I just love it and my jewelry these bangles I thrifted they're all white they're not expensive but I just love them this necklace is by Goriana she's an American jewelry designer that I love and I always pick up stuff from her store when I travel overseas this is just my gold bangle that I always have on my Pandora rings that I always have on these two bands my mum and dad's wedding bands that I always have on, my love heart ring that I always have on, and my beautiful antique onyx and diamond ring, which I got from Hawaii. And that's my outfit, my friends. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me, and look out for a thrift with me in Byron Bay coming soon. And I really hope I see you guys in my next one.